In this demo, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to manage your AppV packages from the cloud with CloudPager. But not only that, also how to modernize your AppV applications by automatically optimizing those packages with CloudPager. Optimizing your AppV packages with CloudPager will eliminate the need for AppV connection groups for your interdependent applications. It will increase compatibility for your applications. So if you perhaps tried to package an application in AppV and it failed, it is possible if you upload your AppV package to CloudPager and allow us to optimize your package for you, it could improve its compatibility as long as there's no like package defects within the payload itself. Optimizing also enables you to use some of our unique CloudPager features like policies for managing your applications and more. But let's get started. To start, I can simply grab some AppV packages and drag and drop them into the applications dashboard in CloudPager. At this point, if we've used CloudPager before, we see a familiar process initiate. It's going to start to upload those packages. And at this point, I could start to modify the application information while that upload is occurring, like modifying the application names, versions, publisher information, and description, and so on. But I'm just going to hold one moment to show you that my app V applications will automatically begin an optimization process once the upload part has completed. And there we have it. We can see the optimization process is already underway uh, for this application. And you can see that there's no user interaction required. Administrators do not have to do any steps to optimize these packages. But while this is occurring, our packages are uploading and optimizing automatically. I'm going to go ahead and update the information and publish these applications. So I'm going to edit the application name, version, uh, publisher, set a description, and also give a nice tile image so that the applications look pretty nice in this application's dashboard for our administrators and also present nicely within our self-service access storefront for users if I would like to publish these applications in future via a storefront web portal. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to focus more on our work pods for auto-deploying these applications. And the optimization feature itself is enabled with this cloud paging option to improve compatibility, which makes containers more compatible in different environments. But we'll come back to that. Rather than have you sit through this part of the process, I'm just going to use video editing and speed this up. The last of our applications should finish optimizing right now. I did pick a mix of applications here. Um, some are very small like Putty, some are larger like Acrobat Reader DC. And the larger the package, the longer it might take to upload and optimize. Uh, but there's no interaction required for your administrators. You just drag and drop, uh, publish the application, and it occurs in the background for you. With this completed, let's actually deploy these applications. So I have a Windows 365 work pod here. And if I edit this work pod and choose to add, I can add some of our applications here. So I've got a mix of applications that I've already published, as well as those AppV applications that we've optimized and published. So for example, I've got Firefox, which is an MSIX container. And I'll also add our Notepad++, VLC player, uh, Putty, this remote desktop client, which is a cloud paging container, and I'm going to save that. And once I'm ready, I'll publish. And for auditing purposes, I can give a description. So for example, this is a Windows 365 work pod that I'm going to use to publish a base set of applications to all of my Windows 365 cloud PC users. So I'm going to put in a change request number so I can track this and correlate it against my uh, ITSM and change process, and I'll give it a nice descriptive comment. Once ready, I click Publish. We could see there's a revision number history there, just keeping track of all the changes to this work pod. But I also have this other work pod, which is my Windows 365 early adopters. And I use this to assign 
just to my individual personal accounts. So this is my Azure Active Directory account, and I've also got my traditional hybrid Active Directory account assigned as well for testing in different scenarios. And I'm going to just add my Acrobat Reader DC application here, and I'll give it a comment. I'm not going to put in a change number because this one is just deploying to me. It's not going to affect any of the actual production users. So we have those work pods. Now I am in the Cloud PC Users Group, so I'm going to get the applications assigned in that work pod, as well as the ones that are assigned to me personally. And we can see within moments, uh, my applications are already starting to deploy. I was already logged into this Cloud PC. This is in real time, and it's deploying these applications or has deployed these applications already uh, into my active user session. And we should see it is a mix of our applications too. So I've got that MSAX container there. I've got those optimized app V applications. You could see Acrobat Reader DC and so forth, which as you may recall, were deployed via two different work pods, one assigned to my personal user account and the other assigned to a Cloud PC users group that I'm a member of. So let's launch some of these applications, starting with VLC player and VLC player launches. All the menus are available that you might expect and the VLC player functions. But we've also got some of our other applications here as well. Uh, Putty, for example. No surprise that launches very quickly. It's a very small application. Uh, we've also got some of our other applications here, uh, say Notepad++. And of course, maybe our MSIX container. Let's launch Mozilla Firefox. And it should load a site. Yep, no problem. So you can see just how quickly those applications deployed. I, you could also see in the star menu that applications from multiple work pods that I was assigned uh, did appear within that desktop session. But before I forget, uh, earlier we put Adobe Acrobat Reader DC into this other work pod that is assigned to my personal Azure Active Directory account. So let's go back and we'll just quickly launch that application too on this cloud PC. So we see the application launches pretty quickly. But let's say maybe you'd prefer to just deploy your original AppV package without optimization. So let's step through um, doing that. So we've already tried the, the optimized version. Let's try the original. And it is very simple to try it. If I go to this application and edit it, at any time if I would like to, I could just move this slider to disabled if I want to uh, deploy the original AppV application without those optimizations. That is an option if you would like to do that. However, doing this, you will lose some of the features, such as our policies feature, which I will show you in just a moment. So now that I've optimized some of these applications, uh, I can apply policies. So if you're using just your original app view packages, this feature is not available to you. But if you're using the optimized packages, this is, and it is very, very powerful. So for example, you can see by default, there's a lot of options here grayed out, uh, but you can restrict application licensing on a per application basis. So there's the ability to perhaps restrict an application to say, maybe you want each user to be limited to only use an application on a maximum of two devices. You could set the maximum seats to maybe you have 10 licenses and then limit to number of desktops to two. Uh, set an expiration for software once you've deployed it. Uh, you can do things like enable offline usage, but limit it to 14 days or however number of days you would like. Uh, you can remove applications after so many days of inactivity. It's very, very powerful for managing uh, the overall life cycle of your applications once you've deployed them as these optimized AppV packages.
At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that when optimizing your AppV applications in CloudPager, you no longer require AppV connection groups for interdependent applications. So if you wanted to, if you would still like to group those interdependent applications together, you could create a work pod for that application and its prerequisites and whatever dependencies those applications may have in common. And that way you can logically group them as a work pod and deploy it that way. However, importantly, you do not have to. Like I showed you, you can have applications in different work pods assigned to the same user via different groups or perhaps to individuals, uh, however you see fit. And as long as those applications get to those users, if they're interdependent and they're reliant on one another, as long as they're deployed to those users, the applications should work. And finally, before I forget, if I go back to my Cloud PC user session, remember we toggled off that optimization for Acrobat Reader DC. If I launch that application, I knew my AppV package, the original AppV package worked. So we could see that the application does indeed work. I just lose those optimization features that were gained when I optimized the application. So it is up to you if you use the optimization, it's there by default, but if you ever want to go back just to the original AppV package version, you can. That's it for this demo. We're really excited about this feature. We feel it not only helps to bring continuity to your AppV packages, but also breathes new life and modernizes your AppV packages too. Please feel free to check out our previous blogs and other demo videos where we show general management of applications, including AppV packages, and how you can modernize your application update process and our awesome rollback feature too. Thank you for watching this video.